Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's 2 Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday tip video collaboration with the AutoCAD blog, uh, I'm going to show you guys another one of my favorite features from the Map 3D tool set that's now available with your AutoCAD subscription. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so as always, I'm gonna try and keep this quick. Uh, who knows, but maybe this time I'll actually get it under the two minute mark. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at another layout tool. Uh, if you remember, and if not, check it out. Uh, the last video we covered the dynamic north arrow that will automatically rotate to match the orientation of your viewport. Similarly, we also have the option uh, if you're in Map 3D, uh, this is the 2020 version of the tool set, we can go over to the Layout Tools tab, and you'll see that there is also a Scale Bar uh, tool. We're using this, we can insert uh, a custom toolbar or use one of the pre-built-in uh, default uh, scale bars that will automatically adjust its size uh, and scaling to match our viewport, similar to the north arrow. To get started, simply click the flyout or drop down button uh, for the scale bar and choose one of the built in scale bars to go along with your drawing. Uh, in our case, we're using an imperial drawing, so we're going to want to choose one of the imperial options here. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use scale bar 3 imperial. Next, you're going to need to select the viewport you want to link the scale bar to. This means that when the scale of this viewport changes, the scale bar will scale up or down to match. So we're going to select it and we're going to get the scale bar properties dialog box. Here you can choose how wide each scale bar division is. And you're going to see when I insert this, what that means. Uh, and you can always come back and change it. The scale ratio, if you've already set your viewport scale, which I forgot to mention, you should have set before you click on the scale bar option. Uh, that just makes this step easier. It's going to be auto filled in, so you don't have to adjust it. The last step is making sure your uh, units are set correctly. Uh, and we're going to use feet and we're going to just put in, uh, for this example, five feet division, and you're going to see what that means. Next, we just hit OK, and we're going to have up to uh, place our scale bar. We can put it down here in the bottom right of our viewport for now. And you can see it's already in, inserted it to scale uh, and it's tied to our viewport when you click on it there. So as you can see, it's showing a five meter division between the scale bar uh, ticks here. And that's what we chose in the properties dialog box. If you'd like to change that to change up the size of your scale bar or to match it to say an inch or something in paper space, you can do that adjustment by clicking on the scale bar, hitting the drop down here next to the wrench and choosing scale bar properties. From there, we can change our scale bar division again and hit okay. And you can see it's gonna automatically update uh, based on whichever one we choose. Now, it's also going to update when and if we change our uh, viewport scale. So you can see when I select our viewport here, the scale is set at one quarter inch to one foot. If we just bump this up to three eighths inch equals one foot, you're gonna see it scales up. We're also gonna see that our scale bar grew to match. So this uh, division length is four feet now in model space. Uh, so it it sized itself up to match what it's showing in model space. If we select our viewport, go back down to one quarter, you can see the scale bar matches the scale. So that's pretty much all there is to these dynamic scale bars. Again, you can make a different selection from the built-ins or bring in your own. Uh, and to edit it, simply go in to your scale bar properties. You can also link to a different viewport if you'd like through those uh, through that dropdown. Uh, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the uh, article as well as all of my other articles on the AutoCAD blog. Uh, and check out my website, cadintentions.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like.
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.